Good morning, guys. Hi, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Steven, and Buddy. I have these little wedge pillows now that I really enjoy. Buddy really loves hanging out up above my head. <laughs> and Eleanor is sleeping on my hand, so I can't move. <laughs> Look at him looking at me. You really can't see his eyes, can you? But, oh, he's staring at me. <laughs> What's going on, buddy? <sighs> hey, guys. How are you? Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Stephen. Happy New Year. Can you believe that it's the year 2023? I can't. I was born in 1969, the year of the first moon landing, and it's 2023. How is it possible that that happened so fast. I just can't believe it. I don't understand. Um, it's already been a very, very stressful morning. I don't think I'm going to be able to get to my giveaway today because I have to go through all of the comments in December and that's quite a few. So I may not get to it today, maybe even tomorrow. Um, it's been a very stressful day. Um, I've been very upset with myself because I've done something incredibly stupid, like inc monumentally stupid. I do stupid things once in a while, but this is like the kicker. Um, do you remember when I left my suitcase at home when I was going to work? I had to drive back home and get my suitcase and how stupid I was back then. And don't be kind and tell me I wasn't being stupid. I was being stupid. Well, I trumped that. The proper use of the word Trump. I trumped that. Um, I, um, yeah. <sighs> Last night, I flew into Vegas from Nashville. Uh, all of our positions did all of our jobs for deplaning. Everyone double-checked the doors that were disarmed. Everyone checked their emergency equipment. Everyone checked the bathrooms. So C did their job. Usually C is the last person off the plane. They did their thing. I just said, you know, I'm going to gather my things. Have a great day. It was nice to fly with you. Happy New Year. So I go grab my stuff. I put my tablet in my messenger bag. Um, I changed all of my stuff. I took all of my required items and put them in my messenger bag because it was just more compact and easy to carry around rather than my big giant rolling tote bag, which I've been using for a while. There's a little foreshadowing here. Yeah. So I put my tablet in my messenger bag with my book and my magazines and all that stuff. Uh, took that down, put my stuff together, left, walked all the way to my car, which is ridiculously far away, uh, got home, gave the cats a treat, said goodbye to you, and then I uh, went to bed this morning, gave the cats their treats, decided it was time to get something to eat, and then while I'm here, let me plug in my tablet so I can have it charged uh, instead of just, you know, doing it last minute when I have my next trip. But my, my messenger bag wasn't in the house. I'm like, huh, all right. Well, I'll go in the garage. It'll be in the garage. It's not in the garage. And then I think, huh, let me go look in the car. It should be in the car. It's not in the car. And I am, at this point, my heart is beating in my throat. And I'm losing my mind. Where is it? It's got my work device. It's got all of my paperwork for work. It's got my passport. It's got everything in that messenger bag and I can't find it. I raced through the house. I'm not wearing clothes at this point, nor teeth. So I'm like, <laughs> so I, I flew upstairs, scared the cats to death, threw the teeth in, threw some clothes on. I still look cute. Uh, and then um, raced to the airport thinking, am I so dumb as to leave my messenger bag on the ground outside my car? Did I just forget to put it in the car and I'm like oh my god what homeless person has my passport you know and um I mean I was losing my mind you can't imagine how upset I was well uh it's not in the parking lot because I flew to the parking lot it wasn't there and I realized I have to get into the airport I did not think to grab my badge so I drove all the way home grabbed my work badge got back to the airport and I, I, beyond hope, beyond hope, I walked to B Gates where we came in last night, which is of course far away. Uh, and I get to one gate agent who's working. There's like five people in line. 
I'm sitting there trying not to have a seizure standing in line. Like I'm str so stressed. And um, I finally get up and I said, hi, trying to be like a human being in expressing my needs. I'm like, hi, um, I worked the flight in last night. I got in at this gate here. Um, I left my bag on the airplane because that's the only thing I could think of. Is it possible you could call Ops and see if it's there? And she's like, and I'm trying to say it's a, it's a black messenger bag. She's like, what's a messenger bag? And I'm trying really hard not to be like upset. You can't imagine the self-control I had to say, you know, a shoulder bag, but usually for guys, you know, just like, what's a messenger bag? Um, so I, um, she calls Ops slowly and, um, yeah, Ops had it. Oh, let me move my car. Hold on one sec. This little tiny boy, little tiny boy, he looks like he's six years old, is about to try to open that truck door, which was going to whack my car. So I'm just going to move my car so I don't get hit. Um, so Ops had my bag. Ops had my bag. I literally still on the verge of throwing up and crying because uh, I'm still so stressed. The adrenaline level is insane. Um, I uh, So I walked over to A Gates where they went and got my bag. And I am like, uh, it, it, the, the relief I can't describe. So um, yeah, so that just literally just happened. So to bring myself back to a sense of normalcy and calm, you know what I'm doing, right? You probably already saw it in the background. I'm gonna walk into Goodwill. Uh, Cause I can walk around and like zone out. And uh, so yeah, that's how I'm resolving my my stress level. Some people eat out of stress. Some people drink out of stress or do drugs or something that causes self-harm. Me, I'm going to go into Goodwill. I mean, it could be worse. Um, I, I, I'm surprised. I, I might not share this with you. I'm just so embarrassed. I'm embarrassed that I did something so stupid as to leave my whole bag of required items on the airplane. But... Hey, you was with me and I got my bag back. So it's right here. I'm now going to cover it up with some empty uh, Taco Bell bags so no one sees it in my car to steal it. Uh, but I'm going to pop into Goodwill just to wander around, bring myself down. It's my sense of, it's like, it's like my meditation area, you know? All right. So I will see you later on today, either with some good news as to who won the giveaway or maybe not. I'm not quite sure because today just has been pushed off the rails. <sighs> I need to relax. I will see you soon. So I struck out at Goodwill. Uh, well, I didn't quite strike out. I helped somebody else buy something. Um, I didn't have a burning need to buy anything. I just needed to walk around somewhere peaceful, calming. Goodwill is like a happy place for me. So uh, I just, I'm just glad I went and just poked around. I am going to stop off at one more just because I have time. Um, while I was there, um, I saw a woman's car. I always look at other people's carts, either to applaud them for finding something amazing um, or to go like, wow, are, you're buying that? Okay, well, somebody's going to buy it. Um, do you notice how quickly I recover from my anxiety from earlier? I mean, like this. Uh, it's part of being an Aries, I think. Um, so I walked around uh, around the corner and I found a matching piece to some of the china that a woman had in her cart. Uh, ivory, vintage, but not really that expensive with a little bit of gold, uh, worn gold on the edges of the pieces. So um, I found a covered vegetable dish uh, that matched her pattern. So I grabbed it and I was like, hey, I'm not stalking you, but I just saw your cart. Would you like this as well? And she was like, oh my God, uh, this matches my pattern. She already has a bunch of it, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and uh, I, in walking through, I found a coach tote bag, sort of, it's a leather tote. It was really cute and fairly contemporary. It was a little dirty, needed some love. They wanted $25 for it. I could have resold it for maybe 50 or $60, which is not a large enough profit for me to sell some like a purse but it was cute and so I walked up to that same woman I was like hey I'm sorry I'm not 
shopping for you, but I was gonna put this back on the shelf. Were you interested? Because uh, we have the same taste. And she's like, oh my God, my daughter would love that. And like, yay. So my good deed done for today. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm, I'm calming down after being so upset at being so stupid earlier. Uh, it is a beautiful day. I wish I could show you the mountains. Uh, they're wreathed in clouds. Just a beautiful, beautiful day. Um, I'm going to grab a bite to eat, uh, close by, and then there's a, a, a Goodwill over there. So I'm going to pop in, see if there's anything, just, a, you know, random chance, and then go home, spend the rest of my day at home. Uh, I do have to pack a couple items to sell on eBay that I've sold on eBay. Um, I sold recently a, um, a vegetable dish. Uh, vegetable dishes seem very popular today. Um, from um, Wedgwood, China. I sold that. That was $74. That sold while I was away on my last trip. Uh, then today, today, while I was recovering from my anxiety... Uh, a four-piece uh, dinner plate set from Pier 1 in the Macintosh pattern. That sold uh, for $40. And what else sold? Oh, one of two Russian uh, toys, vintage Russian wooden toys uh, that I have for sale. One of those sold for $40. Uh, so that pretty much pays for uh, all the stuff I bought on my last layover in Nashville just those two things that sold today. Uh, so very excited. And that's one of the reasons I thrift, so I can buy more stuff. All right, let me grab something to eat, hit that Goodwill, and I will see you later. Doesn't this feel like a Vlogmas video to you? Yeah, it does. Some of you like Vlogmas, um, but uh, I'm not gonna do a video every day for the year, I can't. But I did pick up two shirts. Uh, I think they're both cute, this one. Apartment 9, never heard of it, but I love the pattern. It was $6. Uh, it's uh, hardly used. It did have a dry cleaning tag on it somewhere, so that's comforting. Uh, and then this shirt, also pink-ish, a little linen number. This is actually an Amazon Basics, Amazon Essential shirt. Also, it's little dry cleaning tag on there. I thought it was cute, and... Uh, that I'll wear. And I got one more piece of clothing for myself. It's a little sweater vest. I know sweater vests probably aren't cool. I have a feeling they're going to come back. I want, wore one to my Thanksgiving dinner with my family under a navy blazer. It looks really cute. Uh, and this is a little uh, woven number, a little zip, zip up sweater vest from a company called Scandia Woods, and for some reason that feels like I should look that up on eBay, but um, it was a great price, and it was super cute, and it fit me. And then I bought three ties, and that's it. Um, I bought this little vintage Donna Karen number, which I thought was really fantastic. And Donna Karen, still a name I think that carries some weight in the design world. Uh, and this is also another do uh, vintage Donna Karen tie, which I thought was really quite nice. And then I got a vintage um, Lauren by Ralph Lauren uh, tie. And that was, I think, very super, super classic. Uh, and that was four bucks. So I'll probably eventually, one day down the road, list those for sale on eBay. I think they're cute. I think they're cute. I love Donna Karen, particularly that tie. I think that's very very nice. Uh, maybe worn with a blazer and maybe a sweater vest like that. Hmm, who knows? All right, so I'm going to grab a bite to eat and then I'm going to go home and just hang out with the cats and do nothing all day. Tomorrow I am going to try to sit down with my laptop and go through all of the comments for December and look for those folks who um, did something nice for somebody else. I can, I can do the giveaway for the, uh, the Sabbath heat. Next year, I have to think of a better way of um, entering because this is gonna be a, a tedious and a lot of work to go through all those comments. But you guys are so nice. It's gonna be like rereading nice love notes over again. So there you go. Unless something very strange happens, I'm gonna end this video here because this has been quite a day. And um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Fly safe, bye.